Hi everyone, what's up? I'm Alex from Creality. Creality just unveiled another model in the Ando3 V3 family. The Ando3 V3 without any suffix. I know it is a bit tricky. Every day, I got dozens of friends asking me how many Ando3 V3 models are out there and how do I choose the right one? All right, today, I'm going to answer your questions. There are three models in total. Ender 3 V3 SE, Ender 3 V3 KE, and Ender 3 V3. So how does each one step up against each other? Let's jump to the conclusion. Ender 3 V3 SE, this is the best 3D printer in the 200 price range, mainly for hobby use. An excellent basic printer. Ender 3 V3 KE, the best speedy clipper based 3D printer in the 300 price range for both hobby and professional use. And the 3 V3, it is the new tech auto fast cool X day printer in the 400 USD price range and it is suitable for anything you want to throw at it. I hope this helped to answer some of the questions you had when choosing between those three machines. Next, I would like to dive into the differences between them one by one. Please stay with me if you are interested. First, speed of course. Ender 3 V3 SE offers a max speed of 250mm per second, Ender 3 V3 KE 500mm per second, Ender 3 V3 600mm per second. The 250mm per second speed of the Ender 3 V3 SE may not seem very fast, but in fact, most brands merely offer 100 to 150 mm per second at the price of V3 SE. So it's very compactive. The Ender 3 V3 SE has a traditional i3 style motion system. The X and Z axes are made of lead screw and V wheels. Its Y axes are linear rods. Ender 3 V3 KE is much faster. It can finish a benchy in just 15 minutes and 8 seconds. This is because it upgraded the i3 style with a precise X axis and linear rail which I will cover a little later. It is worth noting that N3 V3 achieves a max acceleration of 20,000 mm per square second, which means it takes much less time for the print head to turn from one direction to another. That is why it can finish a bench in just 30 minutes. You likely want to know how this is possible, right? Bingo! And the 3 v 3 comes with a brand new Core XJ motion system, a flipped version of Core XY, no lead screw or V wheels. This printer is all belts and a linear rods. The X and the Z axis are rigged together, allowing two high torque motors to work in unison for quick response in the blink of an eye. Let's see a live speed comparison of the three printers. It is fair to say that each M3 V3 product is the fastest in its weight class. The extrusion system is also quite different in each printer. Some people may didn't notice this right away. And the 3 V3 SE uses the good old Sprit Direct Drive Extruder. And the 3 V3 KE upgrades the Sprit Extruder with a 6 watt hot end to boost the flow rate for high-speed printing. For N3 V3, it adopts a completely new direct drive extrusion kit that is the same as the K1C, and it is enhanced for over 1,000 clock-free printing. If we tear it down, you'll find a lot of innovations. The tri-metal nozzle is very special. The nozzle is integrated with the heat brick for quick swap. The nozzle tip is hardened steel. It offers six times durability and it supports a brass refinement. It also features the six watts hot end for a high flow rate. Up to now, we have explored two major differences, speed and extrusion. But for most users, the biggest question is do they print well? Yes, all of them print well. I have three bunnies printed by these three machines. 
they leave competitors in the dust. But there are slight differences if you look hard. V3SG provides reliable print quality with classic configures. It is the only sub-200 USD printer with Y-axis linear rods. Now check the print result of the N3 V3SE. V3KE takes the print quality of i3 style printers even higher. It features the X-axis linear rail, two-part cooling fans, and the input shaping preset, no doubt. The linear rail is a big improvement from the wonky V wheels. It has a carriage slide containing high quality ball bearings, making each move accurate, steady, and frictionless. While well, let's compare the bench printed by N3 V3 SE and N3 V3 KE. When it comes to N3 V3, the print quality is at a completely new level thanks to new technologies. As mentioned above, N3 V3 employs the Core X J motion system made of precise belts and the linear rods. So the positioning accuracy is naturally better. Besides, N3 V3 boasts a normal metal frame with die casting parts. The gantry and the base are each a single aluminum alloy piece made of integrated die casting with fewer bolts and seams. N3 V3 is incredibly solid and stable. At the same time, dynamic balancing is applied to eliminate the fence shaking during high speed printing. Also, the input shaping gets more accurate with the addition of a G-sensor. Now let's talk about automation. I'm excited to tell you auto-leveling and the offsets are now standard across the whole N3 V3 series. From now on, no more paper test. Actually, N3 V3 SE is the first sub-200 USD printer to have both auto-leveling and auto z offset. But for N3 V3 KE and N3 V3, it is not only limited to this. They both have Wi-Fi capability, so you can control and monitor your print remotely from Creality Print and Creality Cloud app. N3 V3 also gets the XJ belts tensioned automatically. But the biggest point is the clipper firmware. To put it clearly, N3 V3 SE runs with the classic Marlin firmware N3 V3 K and N3 V3 runs the Clipper firmware. So much about automation, let's also talk about filaments. This may not be a concern to most users. If you just print with PRA or sometimes TPU like me, all of the N3 V3 series have you covered. If you want print with high temperature filaments like ABS, PTG, ASA, both V3 and V3 KE can do it. As long as you add a thermal enclosure that can keep the ambient temperature higher. Otherwise, your models tend to wrap. But that's not all. N3 V3 can also handle carbon fiber field filaments, including PRA CF, PTG CF, and CR carbon so you can make super strong pumps. Now, let's wrap it up. N3 V3 SE, lowest price, 250 mm per second speed, auto-leveling and the offset, perfect for beginners. N3 V3 KE, mid-range price, 500 mm per second speed, auto-leveling and the offset, X-axis linear rail, two-part cooling fans, and clipper firmware. N3 V3, high-range price, or advantage of N3 V3 KE, 600 mm per second speed, both the new tags such as Core XJ, all metal frame, tri metal nozzle, dynamic balance, etc. I hope you can choose the right N3 V3 model for yourself now. Thank you for your time watching. See you.